Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. We are gonna be starting a brand new series, a brand new series in FC Mobile. I mean, is it gonna be brand new or is it gonna be a continuation of the old one? Probably it's gonna be a mix of both because you're gonna be using a new player uh, who's a really good talent, a future star, one might say. And at the same time, we're gonna be continuing where we left off. Uh, if you guys remember, episode 100 was a weekly signing. Uh, I think it was part 17 or week 17, something like that. And now in today's episode, episode number 1 of our Hitman Hoyland. Now that is the player that we are going to be using. We are going to be using Rasmus Hoyland in this complete series. Hopefully we can get to another 100 episodes with Rasmus Hoyland. Now without any further ado, let's get into this. Let us say goodbye to this squad. This is the Magic Mon squad. We don't even have mount in it. So that is how far these episodes have been. So make sure you guys go check out that series. Now I think I want to use this lineup for this new series. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys think this lineup is decent enough or good enough because Van Persie is really good. So I want uh, Rasmus to be uh, a good pair with Van Persie. Now in this lineup, if you guys look straight away, there are a few positions we need to improve. So we'll be improving these positions in the upcoming episodes and in the future episodes. So yeah, hope you guys will enjoy the series. Now in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is basically we're going to go get Hoyland. We're going to level him up. And if there are some few uh, level uh, rank ups here and there, we're going to do those touch ups. We're gonna see what is there in the exchanges, all that good stuff. And in episode two, we'll be opening some packs. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. This episode one is just gonna be a small one. This is just like an introduction for this brand new series, guys. I hope you guys really enjoy this because uh, I was thinking I'll start with Garnacho and then I start. I, I thought I'll start with Valverde, but I feel like uh, Hoyland is a better choice uh, rather than both of them. And I think uh, Rasmus will be getting a what is that player of the month card i'm not sure yeah i have not released it just yet but hopefully we'll get that card soon now let us go to the club and bring hoyland in now we have the latest card for hoyland which is the 85 rated card that he has if you guys look at this this is the card that he has right now the inform card now what we are going to do uh, we're going to rank him up i don't know if, if we'll be able to train him to uh, level 30 just yet but we'll rank him up and as the episodes go by we'll train him and by the time we reach 30 if we get uh, the next version of this card we'll upgrade the card we'll keep doing that that is one thing that i didn't do in uh, magic mon series because mason mon bay he played like three four games and after that he just went off because of injury so we didn't get any good cards for him i think we had like two three cards maximum for him but for highland we already have uh i think this is the second card uh, apart from his base card and i'm pretty sure he'll get the player of the month card and i suspect he might have some other cards coming as well so hopefully this will be a good one now the whole the whole idea behind the series is to make sure we have hoyland throughout the end not like what we did with mason mount and yeah let us just go have a look at the exchanges what is there what is not there all that good stuff now i have sold some people and i am having my eyes on some of these cards as you guys can see uh guys please let me know if somebody's watching now please let me know which of these three cdms you think are better now as per the stats yaya tore is a beast but what do you guys think of raigard and gattuso as well raigard and gattuso are one of my favorite players now i am very confused i need to get a new cdm in that squad you guys saw that casemiro is uh, as of now low rated so i am gonna get yaya Torre as of now but let me know in the comment section which of the other two are better maybe i'll sell yaya Torre and go for a different uh, player you know now the thing is will we be, be able to get yaya Torre? because as you guys saw there are a lot of people in line for him so is it possible to get him at this right time and moment now 
<laughs> we will do this in episode 2 guys because every time i do this 93 to 97 in heroes i get that one card that one card keeps haunting me so i don't know if i want to do it just yet in episode 1 itself uh, but yeah not bad actually we'll just complete this and then we'll go uh, rank up rasmus okay <clears throat> let us go to the club and rank up rasmus this is basically it guys for today's episode we're gonna i have a couple of uh, rasmus extra cards and then we have some dudex as well so we'll rank them up to who knows maybe even max and then we'll see how it goes so first we have let sent him to 86 he can go up to 90 that is which is also a plus point because um, that is really good because we'll be able to get some decent stats out of him now i can train him up to level 10 um that is something decent not bad now we don't have enough players in the squad to train him up to you know the crazy numbers so that is one thing concerning if you guys see 86 rated rashness island level 10 max has 101 pace with 92 shooting guys this is something insane and this is one thing that i'm actually excited about this card that is one thing that i thought okay maybe rashness island will be a good fit for a new series to start around He's gonna get crazy upgrades. He's gonna get super insane upgrades. And we'll keep increasing his uh, dexterity and shooting as much as possible. I love a pacey striker, guys. If you guys have watched some previous uh, episode, I love myself somebody with good, good speed and then good, good shooting. So that is one reason. That is another reason for going for Rasmus. And even if I, I'll show you guys my Garnacho card, I have trained Garnacho and kept him, I think I have ra uh, max ranked him, but I have not trained him uh, to his full potential yet, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Now this is the most tricky part. I can go for shooting and then shooting will increase, look at that, he gets plus 4 shooting, short part and long shots. And then I have one more skill point I can apply, either to dexterity or to shooting, which will give me the play style. So I don't know what to do about that. Now let's just do this part and we'll see how it goes. You guys might be thinking why I am actually leveling up him to max. Even I thought about that just now. We'll just keep him at 89 and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think that is a good, uh, good decision somehow. Now, if I have to level him up to 25, I'm going to have to lose all these players, which I'm not ready to lose yet. So, we'll just uh, hold on and see where we can... Okay, yeah, I think level 19 will do. Look at his stats. As soon as I sent him to level 19, look at his stats. 118 pace, 106 shooting. 100 dribbling 95 physical now let us just compare him to our van Persie who is at 95 rated look at that look at the difference in those two cards an 89 rated and a 95 rated guys that is insane so hopefully we'll keep building on with him and hopefully we'll be able to send some send him to a madness that is the base uh, idea of this whole series and we need to get a new CDM, we need to get a new center back and we need to get a new right back. Maybe a goalie as well, so we'll keep grinding as usual, as normal. And hopefully you guys enjoy this series. Now I'll see you guys in the next episode. Next episode, pack opening, exchanges, everything is there. So make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that. Now bye bye, take care. Until next time, stay safe, stay motivated and keep smiling. Take care.